Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy, and don't mind me, I'm just flying my drone near to Skiliski Island. So in this video, we're going to be looking at how to install the amazing Daisy drone mod by uh, Evengi N or Eugeny N on your local server and on your community server, just like I always do. Um, now, first off, I tell you what, let's just um, let's just bring this drone down. And what you'll notice, actually, before we get started, is this drone uh, has spawned in badly damaged. So it has this damaged screen, which I think is actually quite cool. And you'll need to find an electrical repair kit to repair it so it comes back to um, its uh, its full glory. And I don't know, that might be something you, you'll either like or you won't like. I really like things like this, where things spawn in damage and you have to repair them before they uh, before they go on so let's just let's just have a quick look at the drone if, if you're not quite familiar with this now there's three types of drones that can spawn in with this mod the cargo drone to which you can add a wooden crate so it can carry stuff there's a recon drone that zips around nice and fast and there's the what is called the simple drone which actually isn't that simple because it can carry explosives and drop them um, all of them need batteries and all of them need a drone tablet to work which will need a battery as well um, and the mod is fully configurable in terms of whether uh, the drones um, come with a tablet or not. And when they actually spawn in, they spawn in as a kit. In fact, tell you what, let me let me show you. So if we go into V plus plus, and let's have a look for the simple uh, recon drone kit. Let's find out where they've spawned in. So five of those have spawned in. Where have they spawned in? Here we go. There's one here at Novi Sabor. So let's. Oh, it's spawned in at the police station actually. So let's go, let's go and find it. Right. Okay. So it's going to be somewhere in this police station, and they spawn in as a kit, which then has to be assembled. Well, you you kind of just point it at the ground and find it. Now the kits are quite big, um, so they are quite easy to see. But that does mean they're actually uh, quite difficult to store as well. You need something like a vehicle. Oh, or a large tent to uh, spawn one spawn one in you'll see there'll be a big box probably on the floor in a second we'll see when we find it I should really learn to edit my video shouldn't I so that ah there it is okay so there's the recon drone kit so it's not as you can see it's not too bad let's get, let's get rid of this drone kit here let's put that in my hand so this is quite a nice small one so we can come down here can go outside hopefully there won't be any infected and we can choose the placement sometimes I find it's best to be in first person for this and then eventually it will say it will just deploy it but they can be a little bit finicky probably if you've got build anywhere on they might be better there we go so we've deployed it and as you can see this all oh, this one spawned in in good condition pristine and then we've got the drone tablet which is there um, so we've got that get good to go all we need to do is add a 9 volt battery to the drone tablet and add a 9 volt battery a couple of 9 volt batteries to the recon drone now to put them to put them away because you can't just pick it up you need to um, unpair it if you've got the option selected to have the drone kit spawn in with a um, Anyhow, just with the uh, with the tablet if you don't have the option to spawn them in with the tablet um, sorted out in the config you need to use a screwdriver to take them apart so as you can see now I've got the drone kit and I can go around and do that somewhere else but we will talk about that so that's basically um, how they work so let's exit out of this there we go and let's shut that down so as ever, you'll want to start off in the Daisy Workshop over on Steam. I'll put a link in the description below the video, and you want to subscribe to it. Um, you don't need any other mods for this to work, although it's always handy to have something like Vanilla Plus Plus Admin so that you can check that the uh, that they have spawned in and then travel to where they are and check them out. So once that's downloaded, what you'll need to do is if you go to where your Daisy folder is. Um, it'll be something like C program files x x x steam steam apps common daisy and they go into the workshop folder you will then find the link to um, the mod which is uh, daisy drones 
which is oh, just drone, excuse me. <coughs> so you'll copy that. And sorry, forgive me. This is how you install it on your local server. And then you'll come out of that, you'll go up, you'll go into Daisy Server, and you'd paste it into there. And then if you look at there it is, there we've got drones. Then you go into drones and you go into keys. Just copy that. And then go into the keys folder of your server, like so. You'd paste that in there, so that would work. And then what you need to do then is open up your uh, Windows batch file or .bat file that starts up your server. Um, so this is my one. And then you would make sure in the start line, you've got in the mod section, you've got mod, in my case, community framework, zombie admin tools, VPV admin tools, and uh, semicolon at drone. So that's going to tell it to start. However, we need to add in a types uh, some some types files to it now these are included with the mod so if we go into the drones mod so we go into at drones and go into uh, there's info as well so we've got class names here so if we look at that you can see this is all the names that are used this will change over time as well um, then we've got the config explanation which is worth looking at. So this is, we'll go through the config in a minute. And then you've got the default uh, drones config.json, so you can look at that. And then you've got the types, um, which is this one. And it has all of the bits. However, there's no uh, numbers in any of this. So if you just use this by, them, by itself, nothing would spawn in your server. So what I have done to make things easier I have created a typesedition.xml that you can download or just open up on my GitHub and in my Mega, you'll find in the links in the description of this video, so that you can just look at these and you can just copy these and I filled in the nominals and I filled in the um, minimums and I filled in the categories and usage names so they'll spawn in. So for example, um, if we go to the types editions, what I've done is with the drone tablet, I've uh, said to spawn in five of these was the min minimum of three in police, military, and industrial areas, tier three and tier four. Um, however, if you choose to set up the mod so that the tablets spawn in with a drone tablet automatically, you may want to change that to zero and the minimum to zero so they don't actually spawn in. Now, you don't need to set any nominals for the drones themselves because they shouldn't spawn in, you know. They will, uh, you, you want to spawn in the kit. So if you scroll down, you'll get the kits. And so the cargo drone kit, I've done five, should spawn in, and it's in, it should spawn in industrial areas. The simple drone kit, I've, again, I've done five. I've actually just said military tier three and tier four for this because it is the one that can drop the grenade. So it's the most dangerous one. And the recon drone kit, again, I've gone with five. Um, uh, but actually, I've, I've given this to the police because I guess the police would would use recon drones, wouldn't they? I don't know, but you can play around with the categories. You can put as well, keep it as tools. So you can play around with usages to spawn them in different places. You can play around with the tiers. Remember, I don't think Livonia has tier four, um, but it does have tier three, or maybe you could make it so they spawn everywhere else. So what you want to do is you want to download that file or just copy it all. And then what you want to do is on your server, you'll want to go into MP missions, Daisy Offline Channel Plus, DB, open up your types file, and then you'll want to, as I have done here, I've just done it at the top, just paste them in. So they're all be there and ready to go. And then save that. And basically the uh, the, the mod's ready to go on your local server then. Just um, restart the server and they will start to spawn in. Now you may want to play around with your CFG spawnable types to make them spawn in with no damage. So if you wanted to do that, you would open up CFG spawnable types, you would make a new entry for the kits and the drones and do it so that they spawn in with, with no damage and that would be cool. In fact, you could also do it so that they spawned in with batteries if you wanted to. Um, not too difficult. I won't go into it in this video because I quite enjoy the fact that this is quite an overpowered piece of kit um, and therefore I think you should have to work a bit to get it working, shouldn't you? But there we go, so that's that. Now, if you want to get it working on your remote server, 
Let's go through those. So we're going to use a Nitrado server an exam as an example here. So first things you want to do is you want to go to the general settings for your Nitrado server, and you'll want to scroll down. And in the additional mods bit, you'll want to add semicolon whoop, at drones at the end, um, and that will tell the server to start with that particular mod as well. Then you'll want to fire up your F and save. Sorry. And then you want to fire up your FTP program. You'll want to find the Daisy Workshop on your local computer, and then you want to connect to your server, and you will want to upload the drones mod to your server. It's not that particularly big, so it shouldn't take too long. Da, da, da. Where is it? Has that uploaded? Why can't I see it? At drones, there it is. And then we want to open up this side of the folder and go to keys like so and then we want to open up the keys folder on our server which is that one and then we want to upload that one that will open that to that right okay so that's still uploading to there so while, while that's doing that bit what we'll do we'll also have a look at the db folder so the next thing we want to do is go into the missions and add those types so we're going to daisy offline generous plus go into db and you can actually edit it from here so you could right click um, view edit click on that and what that will do is that will then download it to your local text editor of choice and then I could go into that types edition that we looked at earlier select all copy go into there paste that into there save that Go back into FileZilla. It says it's changed. Should I re-upload it? So you say yes. So that has now uploaded that to there. So we've got our types.xml edited. The um, mod itself is uploading. I've got a particularly slow internet connection today. We've added the key and we've added the .bat file. Now, what you would then do is you would then restart your server. Um, and what will happen is a config file will appear. And I'll, what I'll do is I'll show you this on my local server. So here we go. So on your server, you'll have a config folder, or it might be called profiles, or it might be called settings. It can have lots of different names, but when you go into it, it will have the names of a few of the mods you've got on your server without the at sign. And this is the place where your mods save the things that they need to remember. So if you can see here, there's one for drones. Um, if we actually, if we go here onto my remote server, um, we could try to do a restart. Actually, let's do a restart and let it do it. What should appear in a bit inside the config there would be a drones folder that opened up here but we can look at it on my local server instead uh, where are we there we go so we get this drain drones config.json so we can edit that with notepad now i'd recommend you go back to the config explanation that we looked at earlier that was inside the mod and you can just see what it says so the first important one is kit spawns controller so this is whether, when you undo a kit, does it come with a tablet or not? Um, default is zero. I would change this to one. Um, especially if you are introducing these as a new item on your server. We want to make it difficult because people are going to have to run around and find lots of 9 volt batteries first, aren't they? Um, but at least let's spawn it in with a, with, with a controller at, at first as well. Um, and also this affects how the drones are dissembled as well so if the kit spawn is one then in order to put the drone back in its box so you can carry it you need to uh, unlink the tablet from the drone and then you can disassemble it um, if they spawn separately you need a screwdriver to disassemble it then you've got the working distance and they say look don't change that don't make that bigger you can make it shorter but don't make it bigger than a thousand meters because the game stops rendering things in after that um, battery coefficient so how fast do batteries go flat how far you can zoom uh, sorry what is the zoom um, maximum level to do in can you have night vision um, can it be destroyed so will it take damage which i'd recommend uh, can it carry explosive that's on the simple drone can it carry cargo that's on the cargo drone access to exact position so does this have the xyz in the drone ui and access to range finder and i would leave those probably all as default and you can save that restart your server and that that should work Let's have a look over here. Let's F5 that. 
that appeared yet? No, nah, well, we won't worry about that. We won't worry about that for now. We'll look at that, that in a second. And that's how you then configure the uh, the drones on your server. And that, my friends, is really it. It's a nice and simple um, mod to install. It seems pretty reliable as well. It adds an awful lot of fun to Daisy. I know some people might say, well, is it really era appropriate? I would say, hey, you know, who knows? This could be prototype military equipment, couldn't it? Um, and as long as you keep them fairly rare on your server as well, I guess, you could even add them to dynamic events or put them in the toxic zone. You could have them spawning in there if you wanted. Um, it would be a sort of a rare thing that people find and they use for, I don't know, dropping bombs inside bases, distracting Zeds. I, you know, our imagination can hold no bounds as to the ways we will have fun with this mod. But there we go. That's how you install Daisy drones on your local server and on your community server and kind of how you set it up. Hopefully this has been useful. If it has, hit like. If you want to see more, then press subscribe. And I'll see you again soon.